The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. What's Up Bottle Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, episode 118, The Valentine's Gift. To Animation Land. As you can see, I've just had my script for Chapter 24 of Human to Sentai Go Rangers to Shotaro so you can do the illustrations. Well, judging from what happened yesterday with Mamoru, I can tell that Queen Beryl is going to be extremely heartless, although I have a feeling that something might be manipulating her, like a demon or something. I also realize that Mamoru is deeper under the Dark Kingdom spell than I expected. This demon that's manipulating Queen Beryl must have possessed Mamoru and been controlling Mamoru's mind. All I just realized, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Guess I need to find a gift for Miyako. I'm not sure if I'll find one by tomorrow, but I'll do my best. Come on, let's go! Wow, the stores are practically filled with possibly thousands of customers trying to get Valentine's gifts for their sweethearts. Wonder what I'll find in here. Oh hey, Quentin, looking for a Valentine's gift for Miyako? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so I guess this is people's last chance to buy something for that special someone. Lucky, I've already picked out my Valentine's gift for Susan, so I have nothing to worry about. Then why are you here? Oh, it's just nice to look around to see what they have. Anyway, nice to see you. Alright, take care. Wow, Gordon likes the window shop as well. Anyway, let's see what I can find for Miyako. Alright, I've been searching for like an hour and I haven't found anything. Boom! Oh wow! A heart-shaped box of chocolates! This would be perfect for Miyako. Alright, let's do this. Alright, a heart-shaped box of chocolates. A common favorite gift for your sweetie. That'll be $20.19, please. Alright, let's see here. Here's 21. Alright, you're on the right track, sir. Here's 81 cents back for you. Thank you. Thank you. Please come again. Alright. Well, I found the perfect Valentine's gift for Miyako. I'll just leave it in my kitchen cabinet until tomorrow. You know, I actually feel like taking a walk through Stroller Park. That should help pass the time. Come on. Wow. Spring is less than 10 weeks away. Man, I'm ready to be done with wearing these heavy winter clothes and go back to wearing my normal clothes again. Winter time! Oh, hi, Miyako. Didn't expect to find you here. Oh, I already have your gift ready to give to you tomorrow. Well, I have something I'd like for you as well, and it's very pretty. Anyway, what do you say we have steak and shake for lunch? Oh yeah! I'm always in the mood for some 50s enjoyment! Hi, welcome to Steak and Shake. What can I get for you two? Well, I have one large chocolate shake to share, please. No whipped cream or cherry, please. Alright, uh, are you ready to order already, or... Oh, we're ready! Okay, go ahead. I'll have a plain classic foot long with fries, please. Alright, I'll be back with your food. Oh no! What is it? Saki won't be able to celebrate Valentine's Day with my mother since he's under the spell of the Dark Kingdom. Oh no! Well, I'm sure her family will comfort her. Oh, Saki, I feel absolutely sorry for her! Well, this proves that the Dark Kingdom must be completely annihilated, and I feel the Queen Barrel won't be the end of it. I sense it too! Well, you promised to Saki that we kill my mother and bring peace to Silver Millennium, right? I did, and I am willing to keep that promise! Alright, one classic football with fries, one cheeseburger with fries. Eat in good health. Wow, your hot dog is huge! Yeah, as the name says, it's a foot long! Oh, I just realized, tomorrow's my match with the third member of the Elite Four. I've already beaten half the group, but I expect these remaining two members to be much harder. Whatever, I'm sure I'll beat both of them. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Prepare yourself for the match, okay? Alright, see you later. This 
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.